Hey guys, welcome to Watchdog Central. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Ian Watkins from the band Lost Profits, which I guess aren't Lost Profits anymore due to the disgusting, filthy shit that he actually did. And he was arrested last year. I mentioned it in one of my videos where they dragged him in and accused him of basically being a paedophile. You know, they obtained stuff from his hard drives, laptops and all this. And they had him in... They had him in jail for a while. Now, all the fans back then were defending him due to the fact that there wasn't much evidence shown back then. And I could understand up to a degree even then that the fans were still defending him. Oh, well, maybe he's innocent, all this shit. But then, this was before Christmas last year. And then in the summer, like six months later, he's still in jail with no bail, you know? When, they, when, it, when they, don't, they don't give you any bail after six months, you know they've got some concrete evidence on you and you're not fucking getting out. And then six months later, which is yesterday, still in jail. Then hours before a hearing, he decides to confess to the, like these 11, I said like 11 charges involving raping, raping babies, sexual assault, conspiring to rape you know, there's, there's even bestiality involved in there. This guy is one sick fuck. And from all the articles I've read, all the news stories I've actually read on this whole thing, he thought he was untouchable because he was famous. He thought he could get away with it. You know, I suppose like other people, like Gary Glitter, who during the 60s and 70s, you know, he, he had all these... Um, people claim that he did things but with the technology back then they couldn't really prove it but with Ian Watkins he's pretty much fucked because he was conspiring to rape a one-year-old baby with two women you know not sure of you know women here you think a women would fucking know better than this shit but two fucking women actually conspired to rape with Ian Watkins and they had records the police actually took their mobile phones they had records of what was said, all the conspiring going on. So they, they pretty much had him down to a fucking T. He was not getting off with this shit no matter what he did. So he's basically been doing this shit for years and a lot of people have actually came forward. Even his own fans and certain people he knew have came forward to the police and explained to the police that he had indecent images of children on his computer. He was logging into these, you know, these paedophile paedophile sites I presume and looking at looking at indecent images of children and they went to the police with this and the police didn't do anything you know so this has been going on for a long long time good good four to six years from what people are saying and I don't understand why he was trying to deny it for when I mean if you if, if, if I was arrested right and the police came into my home and they seized my computer, or let's say I had a couple of computers like he did. He had a laptop that they seized. Now, this laptop contained indecent images of children. It contained pornographic images of young children, right? Why would you try and deny it once you got arrested for? You know, what, what's the point? With, with all the evidence that was going against you, why didn't you just plead not guilty back then and just get it over and done with? Your career was going to be fucked. I mean, all they had to do is find three or four images on your computer. The band would have broke up. You're not going to make any more money. Live off in a little cave somewhere for the war when you get out. The thing, the thing I don't like about this also is that he's young, you know? That motherfucker, even, even if they, the judge throws a book at him, he's still going to be out and he's still going to be young when he gets out. That's, of course, if someone doesn't shank him in jail before he does get out, which I would, me personally, I wouldn't give a fuck if someone took a blade to him inside jail. And I don't think a lot of the country, a lot of the UK, would actually give two shits if he got shanked inside jail. I hope someone shanks him in jail before he gets out, because I'd rather he gets shanked before he leaves those fucking prison gates and gets to do it to another fucking child. He's a filthy piece of shit, scum, cunt, and I hope he fucking rots or dies inside jail. This is Watchdog Central. I'll see you in the next video.